Edward the Confessor Born in 1003 to Ethelred II, the Unready, and Emma of Normandy, he was the oldest of his blood-related siblings, but had older siblings from a different mother. Edward's family was exiled to Normandy for a year after the Danish invasion of England. His father negotiated and reclaimed his throne in England. After his father's death, the Danes invaded once again, and Edward was exiled once again to Normandy. After his father passed away, Harkin Newt was offered the throne, but passed it off to Harold. After his death, it was Edward's turn. Edward was a very religious man and got the name the Confessor because that was the name given to you if you were a holy man and died of natural causes. When he came to power, he married Edith, daughter of one of the noblest of men in England. It was agreed upon they would have no children. This is believed to be the case because he lived in a monastery and adopted their customs. He shortly came to terms with the fact that he never wanted to be married in the first place and sent his wife off to a convent. He had a very lonely childhood and felt his brother was favored. He blamed his mother for this. Full of resentment, shortly after he came to power, he took all of her land away from her as a punishment. He filled his court with Normans. He had grown up in Normandy and had a great influence over them. Godwin, who was the actual ruler for the first 11 years of Edwin's reign, was very upset with this decision and did not support it. Edward soon exiled Godwin because he was not happy with his actions. Despite previously promising the throne to his distant cousin, Edward decided to, sh to give the throne over to Harold God Godwin's. The death of Edward the Confessor is known to be the end of this Anglo-Saxon era.